Hope you're all doing well. Let's just jump right into it. For those of you who don't know, Scorch is PFG TV. This is a running joke on my channel. Pretty funny. If you don't find it funny, just shut up, okay? This shit is hilarious. I want you to sit back, get your favorite drink, get a smoke, put your feet up, relax, and enjoy this week's fit. It's been a couple of years now since my previous video on Scorch. He seems to be gaining some traction again online. Before I go into what Scorch is up to right now, because Scorch is back, hence the title of this video. For those of you who don't know Scorch or anything about what makes this funny, let me just give you a brief summary. So here's everything I know about Scorch. He had a radio show. He was big into pro wrestling, although I don't know much about his involvement in that. I think he used to interview wrestlers and stuff. He did a lot of really weird bits on his show. The Wheel of Meat, the guest is blindfolded, and they have to slap a piece of meat. It's like a cold cut, and they have to guess, you know, is it roast beef? Is it turkey? Is it salami? Is it chicken? Is it like roast chicken? Shit like that. Um, it's the dumbest, even dumber than weird news, if you can even fathom that. Then there's doucher dressing. Then there's, there where he used to do on the radio show was, uh, the color of the day. So he would go, color of the day is maroon. And that, that's it. Like, this, that's pretty much, and he would do a number of the day too. Uh, 58. And that's like, that's it. He's just odd. He's just an entertainer. He doesn't let anyone constrain him or tell him what to do or what to say or what to think. Yeah, he's really just an innovator. And that's why I love Scorch. That's why I find him so funny. And that's why he still has a devoted audience to this day. <laughs> he still is. Sure, they're making fun of him, <laughs> a lot of these people, but he still has people who watch him, which is, you know, something at least. Before we continue, I want to extend a huge thanks to our sponsor, which is Monopoly Gut. Have you ever dreamt of unwinding like a millionaire? Well, I've got just the thing for you. It also marks the one year anniversary of Monopoly Go. Now let's dive into my personal review. I must say, I'm absolutely hooked on this game. One of my favorite features is my ability to craft my millionaire hotel and build thriving cities. The gameplay is so smooth and engaging, with each session lasting just the right amount of time. It's the perfect escape. In Monopoly Go, the fun never stops with exciting events happening all the time such as the Parade Partners Co-op event, which is going on right now. It's been a blast teaming up with friends and family to build empires together and celebrate like true millionaires. Open the doors to your millionaire resort today with Monopoly Go. Install the game right now and feel like a true tycoon. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code right here in the video. Don't miss out on a chance to experience luxury gaming at its finest with Monopoly Go. Thank you to our sponsor, So after his career in radio, which was, of course, very notable and exciting and full of weird news and wheel of meat, he went on to do television, of course. <laughs> he started a TV show called Scorch's PFG TV, which is really a cable access show that is on two or three o'clock in the morning that he paid to have, you know, an infomercial slot in. And then he did his like cable access show where he would, he would have on local bands and you know, they would perform and then he would talk to his co-hosts. When you compare it to the sleekness of other late night talk shows that you could watch now, like, you know, of course the Colbert show or Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, any of those kinds of shows even compared to that, like the production value is just such shit and everything's so cheap. Everything was bad, bad and horrible. One of his running things that he used to do on his show um, was of course Weird News where he would play a parody song of Weird Science. Some are odd and some deranged stories that are very strange. Weird news! And he would give a weird news story. Except the weird news stories were usually like very... Not usually weird. They were either kind of bland or just ended tragically. Or it was just like, you know. Hey, uh, so here's a weird news story. Uh, a guy was driving a pickup truck and then he ran over, uh, a kid. And then the kid 
died on the way to the hospital. Weird news. Weird news. Scorch is apparently an extra in David Ayer's Suicide Squad. I don't know if I even believe that. It just says that on his IMDb. He could just be making that up. Did you, did you have the boy? When we were taping before, when we had the show before, was uh, was your uh, mistress at that I point? I was touring a lot, so now Ugh. he's such a bad speaker. What? The, so you are a? Uh, you're, uh, uh, well, uh, you know what I mean. He sounds like the fucking thing from the Fantastic Four. It's been great. It's been great. Comedy's going good. I'm giving Tommy Chong the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Vegas Hemp Fest. Nice. Uh, oh, Medi Mike. Yeah, he talks about fucking weed all the time. <laughs> he's got a fucking toothpick in his mouth. What a horrible host he is. Holy shit. He's rocking back and forth in that fucking chair. So listen, tonight on the show, we have got a lot of cool things. The intellect... We've got a lot of things going on tonight, like... A fake audience. Expected. Intellectuals, <laughs> the intellectual entertainment guys and girls, gonna be here tonight. They are actually going to become regulars on. Uh, regulars. <laughs> they are actually going to become regulars on. They are gonna become regulars. Look at me, everyone. I'm in Suicide Squad. Not the good one. The really bad one. Let me get into what we all really want to see here, which is, you know, Scorch is returned. He is back. I'm back. He has actually been live streaming on YouTube every so often. I, I don't keep up with his schedule, but I am subscribed to his channel, so I do see when he uploads. There have been multiple upload errors since I've subscribed, like uploading untitled videos, um, live streaming by accident, those kinds of things. And he just leaves these up. No one removes them. No one like moderates any of this stuff on the chat. It just stays up. You know, I try to give it like a little bit. Like if you take it down like right away. Okay. Like that's like you take it down in a couple minutes or like a half hour. All right. Everyone makes mistakes, right? But like this shit has been up for like a week or more. You know, it, it's it's just that's the kind of that's why I love score. I'm going to see if it's still up because I, I took that screenshot a while ago. Let's see. Let's see. I'm. Because it could, they could have deleted it, and I'll at least give Scorch credit for that. It's still up. Two weeks ago, one thing worth note, when Scorch finally uh, went on air, he finally mentioned Sib Hashton passing away. This guy's passed away, you know, years ago at this point. How many of you guys have ever heard of a band called Boston? Yeah. Well, heard of a band called Boston? Okay. Sibby Hashin, the drummer for the band Boston, was my co-host for many years, and he turned from a co-host into one of my best friends. Sibby passed away playing drums on a cruise, a classic rock cruise. Yeah. He passed away doing what he loved to do. Sibby, I wish you were here for this. As you would say, love you, babe. So there you yeah. go. Like, oh yeah, my co-host Sib Hashin passed away, Sally. Uh, Better late than never, that's what I always say. Rip Sibs Vitz. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Sibby Hashin, and tonight I'd like to present Sibs Vids. Walls, Wisconsin. You would have seen what I think was a truly flawless. People are talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Scorch is recording his show. Gotta Here, have those original hiccups. That happens now, to the best of us. Seven years, I think. This summer, it'll be seven years ago. Wow, well, very I've interesting. Been here for six, but okay, I'll, but I'll give you that. <sighs> This is how Scorch's show mostly is. It's mostly unwatchable and um, it's just a bunch of ad reads, but that's why I love it. <laughs> House of Hemp coming up later on yeah. today. Yeah! House of Hemp! The House of Hemp coming up House later! House of Hemp later! Come on! I smoke some weed! Slap your meat on that like button. <laughs> the chat is great. Can a man who used to make a living out of playing with wieners can he tell the difference between a Nathan's all beef wiener and other hot dogs? He claims he can. I am gonna put him to the test and we are gonna put him to the test later on. It's our bud Jim Davids coming right, up later on. All right, sipping out the right around All right, let's do this. Yeah, what about doucher dressing? <laughs> name is Rachel, Rachel Gullickson. Rachel is part of the hill people are still talking in the back no one gives a shit scorch with the prison tattoos yeah what are with the tattoos <laughs> they, look, they look good scorch hey shout out ralph i hope you're watching i am 
And there you go, that wraps up today's f up Facts. And by the way... <laughs> f up Facts! <laughs> That's, it's, it's just weird news, instead he changed the name. It's f up Facts! <laughs> that was f <effed> up. <laughs> Good toothpick story, Scorch. <laughs> today's f up Facts, we love you. Thank you! Give it up for today's f up Facts! <laughs> oh, what I wanna do! Give it up for Holly! Give it up for f up Facts, everybody! <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, Chris Powell! <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> stupidity. Holy shit, they got, like, how many more people can you fill the couch? It's like fucking ten people. The guy on the right is like, what the fuck are we doing, man? The guests are just like a bunch of people you never fucking heard of in your entire life. Hey, we got, a uh, Pablo B Bit Sauce here. It's not really a wheel of meat. He has to feel whether, like, what kind of hot dog it is, if he can tell. Uh... I feel like I'm in the wrong room right now. Nathan's hot dog. <laughs> this is fucking horrible. Yes. Nathan's hot dog. I don't know what I expected, but... <laughs> So people have been posting stuff on my subreddit, clips of his new show, and just, you know, the, the, he has gained some traction online, like some of these clips have been viewed a lot. Do these clips make him look good? <laughs> Um, that being said, Scorch, I would love to go on your show. You know, this is just a, a fun ribbing. I'm 100% there, dude. Let's do it. I'll come on and I'll, I'll bring a lot of fans to your show. You'll see. Like, all, all my fans will watch. Gentle ribbing. We're just doing ribbing here. I'm a rib artist. So, to add some context to this, you know, like I said, Scorch... Um, has bands perform on his show and one of the bands was performing and I guess Scorch didn't realize his microphone is on and he said that the band fucking sucked. <laughs> this band fucking sucks! <laughs> it's funny, we have the most people we've had in a long time and they fucking suck. Okay, I think he was saying he, the audience sucks. I think he might be saying the audience sucks. No, no, he's saying it's funny, we've had the most people we've had in a long time and they fucking suck. <laughs> oh, that's even better. That's even better. Wow, so funny. I love it. So the next clip, a comedian um, was on Scorch's show, and I guess Scorch was being rude to him. I'll be in mid conversation struggling. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, don't worry, Dad, I got you, boo. Okay, you know what? That's enough. Uh, we do want the 12 listeners we have. No. <laughs> He's is giving a shit. Show? Don't like, Keep going. He said, yeah. <laughs> Poor Mike. But and. And I was like, oh, and I was like, kid, go fucking go, go fuck yourself, Scorch. Oh, get over here! I'm, I'm listening to your jokes, brother. Mm. No, barely is done. Scorch. Oh my God! There you go. There you go. So there you have it. Well, uh, <laughs> like his face there. Well, that's the end. <laughs> now we're gonna do the wheel of me. That was brutal. Holy shit. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I kind of had to rush this video out because I've just been so busy with other stuff. I was sick for a week. I had COVID. I'm also working on another film. I'm writing and directing another film. And it's basically, you know, we're going to be filming it this week. Um, by the time this video is out, it'll probably be, we'll be done filming. I'll just be editing it. So that won't take up much more of my time at all. Like, we just have to film it. It's gonna take four days. It's a short film, so it'll take four days to film. Thanks for hanging in there. The great TV shows video I really wanted to do. Um, and some other stuff, movie-related stuff. I'll see you guys soon.